YouTube, it's your boy Willie Fast, the Black Jedi. I'm back with another machine and Reason 6 tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to do some time stretching using reasons and try to keep it in like real time. So I really like the audio editing in Reason. So I've grown accustomed to using Reason to do certain things. So I figured, hey, why not try to figure it out to make machine take advantage of all that. I'm using a Mac, so if you're on a PC, I don't know how to do this. On a PC, all I know how to do it is on a Mac. Uh, you have to have Soundflower, and you're using the virtual input and output of machine. So if you don't know how to do that, check out my other videos. All right, here we go. I'm starting off with this basic sample right here. All right, as you can see, I've already actually did the tap tempo, so that's important. You really need to tap your tempo before you try to do it off of reasons because some of the slices might not be as precise as I got this one, so it won't loop right. So you really need to actually chop up your slices before, well, not chop, but find the, the tempo before you actually try to do this. So after you find your tempo, it's real easy. Uh, you can see I already got reasons set up and it's actually already open. So basically all I'm going to do is I got uh, the sample on Curtis 2. I actually already got it put in. So I'm trying to save time and make this quick. Now what you want to do is take the output and change it to whatever you had it set up for. What I have it set up for is output 16, which is actually... Let me scroll this up. Flip that back around. All right. My output 16 is actually the input 31 and 32 in reason six. I'm using Soundflower and I have a Soundflower of 56, Sapphire 56 combination hooked up in my Mac. So we're going to route audio in between the two programs. It's real simple. Once you got that set up, all you're going to do is right here, let's do the, oh, sorry about that, hit the mic. <laughs> hit the input monitoring, and let's see what we get. All right. As you can see, we got an output generated in reason. Now, what we're going to do is I've already created an input, and the input is uh, exterior input 4, which over in Reasons, of course, I've taken the audio track, which is what you need to create in Reasons. I forgot to tell you that. Make sure you create your audio track. Once you got your audio track uh, created, you take the direct out. And the uh my exterior input of our uh my exterior input in machine is routed to the outputs fifteen and sixteen of reasons. So now that we got all of that set up, I'ma mute the sample over here and Got my input, cut my direct sound off, and we're gonna do this. Now we got our sample off of reason, and if you watch, I'm gonna adjust the tempo.
little more mellow right there. I kind of like that better. So now what we're going to do is go down to a separate tag. As you can see, I got a uh, set to record the exterior input of the left to right channel. What I want to do is set up the sync because I already know that what I'm recording is four bars. So we'll toss it on four bars. We'll hit the start and hit restart on machines uh in a on machines you know the control pad right here. I can't think of the name of it. Sorry about that, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hit restart. Now we're gonna sample that in. All right, now that we got that in, we're going to go and mute this track over here because we still got the sample on it in case we want to stretch it because we didn't like what we got out of it. Let's see. As I hit the pads, You can see we got our new sample in. Once you get the new sample in, you can do whatever you want to to it. If you want to rechop it, however you want to do it, you can get it done. Now, the cool part about that is, is if you're doing time stretch using reasons, I'm going to set up another sample pad. All right, I'm going to unmute it. Of course, I already unmuted. it. But the real cool thing is, as you can see, I got an SSL track. Propeller Head did a, a pretty decent job in actually, um, you know, mimicking this. So you have an SSL channel that you're sampling into. So you can do a lot of things like, let's see, let's hit the restart. All right, now this is the sample playing out of reason. And as I adjust on the SSL board, Let's 
Actually, I'm using the S out because that was the last step that I used. So as you can see, you can do some time stretching. You can use any of the effects and reasons. So while you're sampling and you just put that sample off into machine and you're thinking, man, that's a nice sample and you already got the track laid out, you can actually play it off in the reasons and then resample it back off in the machine. Once you got everything set up, it's easy as just opening up reason six. Once you set, set yourself a template up, Man, you can do so many things using reasons, and the kicker is that is not a full purchase copy of reasons. I am actually only using the demo. Yes, I said that. I am using the reason six demo. So all of these things can be accomplished. Sorry, propeller head, without purchasing reason six. So if you got machine and you're looking for some new sounds and some new ways to be creative, download your copy of Reason 6. If you're on a Mac, grab Soundflower, use the virtual input in Machine, and hey, go crazy. I'm out.